Hi guys, Jacob rees got educated on the right of asylum seekers to make a claim in Britain by human rights lawyer Geoffrey Robertson. The case he explained how under the UNHCR, people are not forced to make a claim of asylum in the first safe country. Something wonderful about Mr. Robertson is that he sounds like somebody Mogg would respect, and he also referred to Jacob's favourite period in history, the Victorian era. Mogg clearly doesn't have a clue of what he's talking about, but keeps trying to flog this dead horse. Have a listen. Well, housing them in barges uh, takes us back 200 years to where we put undesirables in hulks on the Thames and deported them to Botany Bay. And I think that Dickensian and cruel uh, transportation uh, has ended. We now want to transport them to Rwanda. But the problem with the government's bill from international law perspective is that it plans to abolish the right, and it's a very important right, of asylum seekers to apply in any country where they end up for asylum because they have a well-founded fear of persecution. But they don't torture. have a right, though, do they? They don't have a right to apply once they've been in a safe country. So their right is well, in France or a country before that, not here. Well, they do, according to the UNHCR, which is in charge of refugees, and there are 27 million in the world today. And uh, certainly... But that's not Australia, what we signed up to. We, we, we signed up to people claiming asylum in the first safe country. No, they have a right at any point to claim asylum. And this is what the Australians, for all the uh, criticism of that policy, did actually do. They processed those people and those who were found to be genuine refugees and not economic migrants. Many of them were taken by New Zealand, where they've done very well, others by America. So even the Australians uh, processed. We are going to abolish processing, we're going to abolish the right to claim asylum, which is a precious right. Well, they'll be, able to claim, they'll be able to claim asylum in Rwanda, so they will be able to claim asylum, just not in the UK. That seems perfectly not reasonable protection UK, of our borders. And that's a breach of our duty under international law, according to the United Nations, and my view of it as well, that they do have a right to claim asylum, which we should not but, abolish. But, we're Wonderful. <laughs> you know, and something wonderful also about this is that um, the KC here isn't um, a blue haired millennial that, you know, would uh, <laughs> get under the skin of the the GB News viewers and Jacob rees -Mark. So, of course, he's correct here. It's not necessary to claim asylum in the first safe country, because if that was the case, then no one would arrive in Britain. No one would arrive in Europe. And the countries that are neighbouring those that are seeing refugees flee across their borders would be destabilised. Because if all the refugees had to stay in those countries, those countries would become destabilised and then refugees would leave from there to the next country. And eventually people would get to Britain, but it would because would have been because all the other countries along the way had become destabilised. This is nonsensical. Jacob rees knows this. And then this idea, well, we just send people to Rwanda, but that's a breach of international law as well, because under UN conventions, people are to be allowed to make an, a claim of a, a, an asylum claim in the country of their choice. And we're talking mainly about a small percentage of the of the total number, and we're talking mainly about people who have some sort of connection to Britain in the first place. They have friends, family there, they speak the language, they have some sort of connection. That's why they want to get to Britain. That's why they don't want to stay in France. Because they have no connection to people. And if your family is in Britain, why would you want to stay in France? If the British government, not even the British government, it's mainly the right wing within the Conservative Party and their friends in the media who are saying, yeah, it doesn't matter if you have friends and family in Britain, you have to stay in France. Why do I have to stay in France? Uh, because we don't want you. That's not a justification. Like, you're saying you're welcoming, but it's only to certain people. And notice that the right wing will never say that Ukrainian refugees have to stay in Poland. 
They keep saying, well, why don't you stay in the first safe country? Well, the, the, the next safe country to Ukraine, of course, is Poland. And nobody's demanding that refugees stay in Poland. Or even that the Ukrainian refugees stay in France either. So why is it okay for Ukrainians, but not okay for, for example, people from Syria or uh, Central Africa? Why is that? I, I don't know. I can't seem to put my finger on it. So it's great that somebody was educating Jacob Rees-Mogg here. And I love the fact that this guy is somebody probably Jacob Rees-Mogg respects because of the way he speaks and uh, maybe his age and his background. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.